What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today is gonna to be a super special episode. So we're here to buy a freaking turd. Ducking. We're gonna be putting an iPhone 10 inside that turducken and see if it can survive the baking process. We're gonna pull that iPhone 10 out, see if it survived, and then we're gonna put it back in and do a freaking drop test off of a building, and then we're gonna eat that turducken. You ready for the food challenge, Jeff? <laughs> oh just, kidding. <laughs> just kidding. And the turducken will be eaten though. And then on top of it, we're also doing a donation drive to the Oregon Food Bank. Link in the description. I'm gonna be donating. I think it's the time of year we should really be looking out for one another with the holidays coming up. So without further ado, Let's go get our turducken. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. Okay, we're here. We've got the turducken right here. The trickiest part about cooking this iPhone 10 inside of this turducken is that I want the turducken to actually be edible. I'm gonna take this to Carla's parents' Thanksgiving, if possible. But that's only gonna be the case if the iPhone 10 doesn't like explode on the inside because it's gonna be in the oven for like four hours at 375 degrees. I just love the idea that he's gonna be <laughs> dropping this off a building and then bringing it to dinner. Like, hey guys, and, and extra tenderized. Infused with lithium. Lithium seasoned. I hate wasting food, so I really hope this will be edible. Okay. Let's take a look at this bird. Mmm. Feels so nice. <laughs> this just feels awkward. <laughs> <laughs> putting an iPhone in a turkey's ass like this. Okay. <laughs> this is gross. Got my fingers inside of a turkey. Ugh. I can feel it deep inside. <laughs> Penetration complete. <laughs> Insertion complete. It's successfully been inserted. I don't know how to say this in a way that's non-sexual. We have placed the device in the bird. In goes the turkey. We've got that iPhone 10 deep inside that turducken. Do you think it will survive the whole baking process? It's gonna be about four hours of cooking. Post your pee in the top right. Will the iPhone 10 survive? Will the turducken still be edible after this whole process? Here we go. Oh man, it's time. Let's go ahead and open it up. Whoa, that is looking good. And it smells not like lithium ion juice. So that is also good. Oh yeah. Getting it to come out. Yes. And, wow, that iPhone is so hot. Doesn't look like it exploded. Let's rinse it off. <gasps> it's coming on. It's coming on. Temperature, iPhone needs to cool down. As it turns out, you can cook an iPhone 10 inside of a turducken and it can survive. That's so awesome. All right, we're gonna put it back inside the turducken. Time to take it up to the fourth story and drop it. All right, here we go. And three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> and you're gonna be eating that. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> the only thing that kept it together was the, the net around it, held the meat in. Everything else looks disintegrated in there. All right, let's go check it out. It's starting to rain, Ryan, I need to eat this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, it's gotta just pulverize. Here comes that turkey. I'm going super slow. <laughs> frame by frame. Gotta absorb all of this. All the turkiness and all its glory. <laughs> oh, it's like a meteor impact! It flattens and it's out. It flattens out completely! That is a turducken pancake right now. <laughs> Holy crap! What's kind of cool is the way that it's oh. shooting out of the ridges. It's almost like that video that the slow mo guys made where they hit the jello with a racket. Except this is meat, because it has the mesh on it. Yep. Then it just like rebounds back in to form the turkey. <laughs> 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 and then you get all those chunks of meat just flying everywhere. You don't even see that many chunks on the ground until you look at it closely. Well, if you, if you saw from the top view though, it looked like it just splattered. Like it looked like it was just like a straight up explosion of, of food. You totally can't see the raindrops. No one sees the raindrops. <laughs> you still plan on serving this to your family? Yes. Yeah. If not, I'll be eating it for a long time. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's see if that iPhone 10 survived. Oh, I feel it. There it is. Still working. Temperature warning. And I think it's not even bent or it looks like in pretty close to perfect condition. I was mainly worried about battery acid and the potential for shattered glass. 
But uh, looks like I don't have to worry about either of those. This turducken is still perfectly edible. <laughs> okay, time to eat these. Oh, that was good. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, guys, I want you to go donate to the Oregon Food Bank. Link in the description. I mean, it's the time to give back, and I think it's the time to just look out for one another. So get on there and set up a monthly donation. It's a very good organization. Go donate. If you want to donate to your local food bank, I'm leaving a link down below so you can search for your food bank and donate to it directly. Hello? Hey, uh, got some good news? Yeah? We're bringing a turk duckin' to Thanksgiving, baby. We are bringing a turk duckin' to Thanksgiving? Yeah, an iPhone was inside of it, and it was thrown off of a building, but it's a turk duckin'. <laughs> That's funny. Yay. Yay. I hope your parents like okay, pre-shredded, pre-shredded turk duckin'. Pre-pulverized. Okay,